Hi, welcome to the presentation. Um, I'm going to present our work Visualization Tool for Teaching and Learning Artificial Neural Networks. My name is Sal Rong. I did my master's degree in computer science from the University of Eastern Finland. My co-authors are Ilka Jormanainen, senior researcher at the School of Computing of the University of Eastern Finland, and um, Tapani Toivonen, university teacher at the School of Computing, University of Eastern Finland. The goal of this work uh, is twofold. Uh, the first one is the development of an educational robot and a visualization tool. And the second one is the analysis uh, of the us usability and the effectiveness of the tool. The educational robot is uh, based on an open source hardware Arduino and the, a neural network has been uh, implemented on it. Uh, the robot is designed to, uh, to be trained using the uh, artificial neural network and um, is trained to avoid the obstacles. On the other hand, the visualization tool is developed to visualize the training process of the uh, of the robot. Um, uh, during the uh, research, um, unfortunately, there was COVID uh, COVID nineteen lockdown, so we couldn't present the um, uh, visualization tool and the robot to a large number of sample we had to go with the convenient sampling because that was our only option during that time. Uh, however, the participants had diverse educational background. Most of them were from computer science and um, they were either doing bachelor or master degree in computer science. Other students include uh, from law department, psychology, and one of them were studying language and translation. A questionnaire was given prior and post uh, demonstration. So uh, the analysis was made um, made based on the on their answers before and after the demonstration of the tool. Uh, our findings suggests that um, the hardware and visualization tool enhances the learning process and uh, it is possible to um, give basics of the artificial neural networks to the students regardless of, uh, of their field of studies. But uh, like I said before, um, the sample size was quite small, so further research on this is needed. Thank you.